So, uh, Ninja Moves, it was based on the concept of playing off each other, really defining those moments where you and your partner are working together as well as somewhat separately. There are times where I'll initiate or she'll initiate into certain movements. So a lot of times where you start off in a closed basic, we have one and two, three and four. By going into her a little bit further, ah, I create reaction. And by doing that, by lowering that and ah, boom, it's a nice reaction that creates a ripple effect and allows us for more energy and flow to release you down the track, yeah? That's our base for that. Let me go from here. One and two, three and four, and one, two, three and four. A lot of power and control, yeah? From here again, same thing. One, sorry, my fault. <laughs> and one and two, three and four, and one, two and three and four, five and six. I'm just flipping the side. That way it's much faster rotation for her. Another version of that would be one and two, Three and four, one, two, I hook the foot, lean, triple and step. Nice reaction, all done from the body, yeah? Um, ladies, you can someone take that around too once you feel the connection. One, two, you can take it around, and guys, you can kind of let it drift. That's all always to you ladies, you have the option of doing that as well. Um, as far as your, your pattern out, once she's out there, you have other options as well, mainly from the open position. Talk about the framing one and two, she's catching three and four. She doesn't want it, then she doesn't have to. But if you're leaving left side pass, catch the go, follow with her, then back out, triple and step. It's not really the amount of, of steps per se that really matter. It's more about how you're interacting and when you know where the time to get out is. Yeah? You know that awkward silence in conversation? That's when it's time to get out. Yeah? So here, for example, we're going one and two. I'm like, one and two, that was cool. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Awkward silence, get on out. But it's, it's one of those things you have to be aware of and also initiate with your partner. So if, I'm, if I feel like I'm done, there are two things that are going to happen. I can either actively move her and spin her out, yeah, or I can block the momentum being also in control of my lead. So one and two, she'll move me. I'm like, oh, I'm following, and I'll go, I'm slowing down. And I'll kind of block her. Yeah. By doing that, I now reinitiate the line of dance and spin her right out. So I'm actually being aware of where my line is. Another option is, again, there's also um, the ninja moves portion of it. It's gonna be here when she's moving you, yeah? It's actually going under from this side to the other side. And what it does is it puts a block on the arm. This is very much a martial arts movement where you see this kind of torque in the arm, but you don't want to torque the arm, obviously, be very safe. Just block the arm and then slip on out, yeah? This is not just enough to put slight pressure for the rotation to stop and then move, but it's not gonna put her in a bad position. Yeah, so that's part of that rotation. Um, and coverage we do the next. The whip, yeah. Right, so the whip, two, three, and four. If we're leading the whip, guys, from here, rotationally. Pivot, pivot, you can back out of that. One, two, three, and four. Pivot, pivot, we're turning around. That right there is a slipping action. Same thing, anything you're doing rotationally, you want to feel like she goes, I go. Man. She goes, I go, and then move out. I love that, it's a cool feel. Uh, rotation, back to our function again. In our basic, we have our one and two. One and a two, three, we can slip on four. By doing that, it creates action, creates options. She can turn around, flip in place, but she doesn't know it's coming because I'm moving to her. Same thing here, I'd go from this point, one and two, three, and slip, come around, then back up. From here, we have options, right? I come underneath, she can turn, Flip around, a lot of different actions we can play with there. A lot of it's just options that you're creating for yourself. Instead of going to your right, some of I would be leading a whip from here, three and four, a basic whip. Five, six, I might lead a reverse. This way. Yeah? Ninja moves. They're quite ninja. One, two, just flip, catch, flip, catch, flip. Catch, flip, catch. What well, flipping and catching? <laughs> Lots of things, yeah, they're breathing. You might like that, yeah. So over, your connection up and over, like this. And then you would turn. Now from here, think of ninja moves. Where do I want to go? Create window, window in. Doesn't work very well. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, window in. Nice, yeah. Window in, she 
can go over or keep turning. <laughs> yeah, don't do that either. <laughs> but you can see how doing it this slow, it, sometimes it's great, sometimes it can feel awkward. Now, if we do it at full speed, is what you'll find. Uh, let me see if I want to do this right. Five, nine, and six. One, two. If I do this correctly, there's different actions that can happen from here. You'll see how that can slip. Whoa. Yeah? So just by doing it differently or slightly in a different angle can affect the way it looks. Um, one of my favorites, underneath is a flip. Yeah, from here, I want to take it around, she can take it around as well. I can initiate, initiate back and then, whoop, there she goes. <laughs> that was cool, I like that. That was a great little switch. So she kind of ducked herself out. So try to play with some of that and see how it feels. A lot of experimentation, and it's kind of what we talked about in class, more so, got a few pattern bases to work off of. But just try to have fun with it and see what happens. Nice job, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.